Welcome back everyone to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 8, Episode 1 of Conan by Monolith, and we are playing a custom scenario called The Conspiracy in Kauran. Um, links below to the PDF file that I got this from. Uh, it features the Conan crossbowmen. So we've got crossbowmen in the Thirsty Dog Tavern. You've got Conan, Billet, and Hydrathus on the way in. What are they looking for? Well, it seems that the captain of the Bosonian Guard, who's got a group of mercenaries here together uh, with the Bosonian Guard and the crossbowmen, they have some evidence in the form of a spell book hidden in one of those two chests. Um, if Conan and Bellet and Hydrathus can get this spell book, it has proof against a conspiracy uh, against Queen Taramis that it's been supported by the King of Zamora uh, by the captain of the of the Bosonian Guard who's running this uh, treachery so goal of our scenario is heroes need to get the spell book leave alive by round seven goal of the overlord characters are crossbowmen Bosonian guards a uh, captain of the guard and even our Bosonian archers are here We've got the Balsanian archers here. Stop the heroes at all costs. Uh, by the way, we've got a paint through video. It's one of the first paint through videos I've done for uh, mini, so you can go check that out. Uh, uh, links below. So yeah, so if Conan uh, and company can escape with the spell book, basically they get paid for, for um, uncovering this plot. Uh, speaking of that, quick shout out to our sponsors. Uh, you know this channel is not monetized yet, and so we love bringing you content. Uh, we've got a Patreon down below if you want to support our efforts. Really appreciate it. We've also got a sister channel, Pontus Fathom Press, three-volume set, Disclosure from the Necronomicon Fragment by Josippe Balsamo, Necromancy of Nyarlathotep, Hermeticism of Hastur, and the Alchemy of Azathoth. Uh, go check them out. There's a strong correlation between Love, Lovecraftian and Robert E. Howard's fictions. Uh, they wrote letters together. So thinking of doing a Cthulhu Conan mashup at some point. So leave a comment below uh, if, you've, if you like this scenario, if you uh, comment on the gameplay, or if you're interested in that, I uh, appreciate you guys uh, contacting so we can get this uh, up to 1,000 subscribers and uh, possibly get this to a live stream. So thanks a lot for your support as we uh, grow the channel. So let's, let's jump right into it. So first off, we're going to pull uh, uh, some initial gem setup. So the gem setup is heroes each have to move four gems into their fatigue zone. So they've sort of been running here, I guess, is the, is the idea of it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the heroes ran here, so like this is the idea of uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need one more gen for Conan. Uh, the the other the other detail here for us is Hydrathus does not start with a spell uh, activated, so we'll get him on that. And we we are playing with the custom solo cards, so we'll give these a quick shuffle and draw our first Overlord card and we'll get into it. Okay, so uh, we've got two reserve points on the board, as you can see here and here, here and here. And those come into play uh, as the hero, uh, as, as the Overlord player plays the Raven card. So let's jump right into it with the first round uh, let's see if we look at the turn play start out with the start phase so we're going to move our gems uh, from from their action spaces to their fatigue zone so we've already dredged that sort of like the, what that stimulates we also start with um, book of skulls has a recovery value of five and they start with three gems in their fatigue zone. So they get three gems in fatigue, and we can go with that. So we'll start out with a 
Okay, so we do the start phase for our heroes. Uh, heroes begin with um, so they're going to take a move. So have them each put a move token in place. And they'll step into the first combat here. We'll have Hydrathus staying back, going to ready a spell. Um, we'll have Conan come in and we'll have Bellit come in and we'll have them engage these first two guards. So let's uh, go ahead and get Conan an attack roll and we'll get Bellit an attack roll. Played a bit conservatively to start out with. Uh, Conan has got his Conan sword plus the additional roll so he gets uh, the one for his die plus an orange so we'll have Conan attack first he it does five damage to this Bosonian guard uh, Bosonian guard has got two armor so this takes out the two and then only one hit point this guy is cleaved clean in half so it's our first our first casualty we've got Conan versus this Bosonian guard didn't stand a chance uh, Belit's up next she can play her ornamental spear plus so she gets two orange for her attack she gets three as well. Two is blocked by the Bosonian guard's armor. One damage also skewers him with the or ornamental sphere. Hydrathus prepares. Uh, let's have him prepare Mitra's Halo. We'll put a um, token out there for his spell use. And oh, we can put it on here. Okay, so that's going to do it for our heroes turn stance phase action phase so then we've got some gems in reserve our overlord player comes in let's grab the overlord card uh, and we get a one and a three so we've got the one and three uh, this sorry this is switched here we'll get one and three, so we'll move this out. Bosonian guard and crossbowman. Uh, so they can attack. And uh, we'll move those gems across for one and three. So let's get those attacks underway. Uh, first off, we will have... Uh, our Bosonian guard will also move forward. So he'll move here to Conan. He will attack. Bosonian guard has got um, the following two. He does one damage. Conan has armor. He gets to roll um, an orange die as blocking. He does, blocks the one. So Conan's uh, chainmail blocks that damage. Uh, crossbowman, also line of sight to Conan. He will fire. Uh, Conan, crossbowman fires a single red die. He gets two damage. Again, Conan will roll for his armor. He gets one. That means Conan can also try to swat that other arrow out with a armor move uh, and he will roll an additional die for that so he sort of gets a second at attack uh, he let's let's let him take the one damage through so one damage to Conan there and finally Hydrathus he he will also um, uh, Hydrathus' turn is already, so that's going to do it for our. Uh, that's going to do it for our attack by the uh, shadow player.
I mean, sorry for the Overlord player. So uh, it's going to wrap it up for round two. So we're going to move it forward from round two. We'll dredge the uh, the we'll dredge the pieces on the uh, on the beginning of the next turn. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in uh, turn number two. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.